Welcome to this week in Longmont for December 14th, 2020. I am your host, Craig Stevens. Triple your impact. Shop, dine, and share. Support local businesses today. Keep them here for tomorrow. Our Longmont business community needs support now more than ever. This holiday season may be the most critical in history for local small businesses. There are so many ways to support local right now, and you can triple your impact each week. Buy from local shops, order from local restaurants, and share your favorite small businesses with friends. Find more ways to triple your impact at downtownlongmont.com. Federal Court Rules in Favor of Windy Gap Firming Project A United States District Court judge has ruled in favor of the Windy Gap Firming Project, clearing the way for construction of the Chimney Hollow Reservoir near Berthoud. This ruling should also make it possible to move forward with environmental mitigation and enhancements related to the project, including construction of the Colorado River Connectivity Channel near Granby. Free COVID-19 testing available seven days a week at Boulder County Fairgrounds. Free COVID-19 testing is available at the Boulder County Fairgrounds located at 9595 Nelson Road in Longmont. The testing site is open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You do not have to have symptoms to be tested. To save time, register ahead online through MAKO's portal. For a full listing of testing options and information on how to register for other testing locations, please visit boco.org forward slash COVID-19 testing. Holiday treasure hunt throughout December. The ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future are hiding holiday treasure. Treasure hunters can scour Roosevelt Park, located at 700 Longs Peak Avenue, for special ornaments. Lucky treasure finders can turn in their discoveries at Bank of Colorado, located at 916 South Main Street, Unit 100, to be entered to win great prizes. Visit longmontcolorado.gov forward slash longmontlights or call 303-774-4694 for more information. Happy hunting or haunting. Longmont Museum to reopen on December 15th. The Longmont Museum will reopen on Tuesday, December 15th, following the release of a public health order allowing museums to operate at reduced occupancy. Guests can explore the vibrant work of Colorado artist Tony Ortega and the entire Day of the Dead exhibition. Front Range Rising, the museum's permanent exhibit documenting 14,000 years of human history in the St. Fran Valley, will also be open. For hours and details, please visit longmontmuseum.org or call 303-651-8374. Give the gift of golf. The popular golf Longmont players cards are on sale now at City of Longmont Golf Courses and online at golflongmont.com. At Twin Peaks and Ute Creek, purchase a $140 card a $216 value that includes two 18-hole rounds and cart at each course. At Sunset, purchase a $75 card, a $130 value that includes five nine-hole rounds with cart. Players' cards can be redeemed for play as soon as the physical cart is in hand. Pick up or received in mail. Expire December 31, 2021. Gift certificates for green fees, carts, and range use are also available for all three courses. Visit golflongmont.com forward slash shop or call the course for more information. Recycle your holiday. The city offers several opportunities from December 26th through January 6th for residents to recycle holiday materials. Christmas trees can be dropped off at Roosevelt, Garden Acres, Kenemoto and Centennial Parks. Please remove all decoration and lights. Special bins will be set up at the Waste Diversion Center located at 140 Martin Street. For wrapping paper and holiday lights and Christmas trees are also accepted. Cooking oil and white styrofoam block number six are accepted at the Waste Diversion Center year round. For more information, visit bit.ly forward slash recycle the holidays or call 303-651-8416. 
This has been This Week in Longmont for December 14th, 2020. Thank you for watching.